I'm the druid. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It is not cold in here at all. So I don't know why I'm wearing this. I just want like a vibe, you know? I want like a cozy, like we're just having a sleepover chatting vibe. I would also like to say that I have my retainers in because I could physically feel my tooth out of place on my bottom. I wanted to have a little chat about honestly like nothing. Um, you know, you can like hear my mouth noises. I thought this was gonna be funny, but like, not really. Honestly, let's talk about TV because we all love binging, right? There's a lot of very popular shows that people like to watch, right? Oh my god. <laughs> that was good, that was good. Good, good, Emma. So I wanted to share some shows that are not as popular, but still just as good. I'm fine. This is not working for me. I am disgusted. Talk to before I do, because I'm already feeling. Okay, the f and this is in no particular order, okay? Um, United States of Terra. Now, I, I don't know if I should even mention this, because I don't think it's on Netflix anymore, because this is one of, like, my high school shows. But I'll give you, like, a little synopsis, okay, without spoiling everything, and then you can go check it out if you want. So it's about this woman named Tara, and she has dissociative identity disorder, and she has, at the beginning, three alter, like, alternate personalities. Tara is played by Toni Collette. Her husband, I cannot think of, like, the actor's name, but it's Aiden from Sex and the City. Brie Larson is in it. That one guy that's in that one movie... But it's really good. It's one of those shows where it's a nice mix of comedy and drama. Like, you're gonna laugh, but you're also gonna cry. You're gonna laugh and you're gonna cry. Patton Oswalt is in there. It was also on Showtime. It's like a Showtime show. So it has, like, raunchier themes. I don't know. It's really good. And this is an interesting, like, a woman that has dissociative identity disorder. Watch it. Get it? United States of Terra. Like, alternative states. It's funny, right? Okay, Younger. Alright, here's a good one. I, I feel like Younger has a pretty wide fan base. I just don't hear people talk about it. It's so good. It's about this woman named Liza who's in her 40s, I think, and she pretends to be in her 20s to get into um, a publishing job. And it's really dramatic. It's on TV land. Like, what? I don't know. It has Hillary Duff in it. Are you enticed? I don't, it, it's it's really good. It's really good is so not like. Da, 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 da. Uh, next one is Veep. Veep is so funny. Okay, it has Julia Louis Dreyfus, and she is trying to become president of the United States. The humor is so dry and so like, you know, like. Bam, bam, bam. I cannot snap with my left hand, so you're only hearing. It's like, ooh, let me see. Ooh! <laughs> well, off camera. Anyway, it's kind of similar humor to, like, Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's so funny. It's on HBO. Um, I don't know, okay? That was not a good description. Again! All right, so the next one is called Containment. This is on, I think it's on Hulu. It's about a, a viral outbreak that takes place in Atlanta. And that's where I live, folks. I'm also like a huge germaphobe. So this is legitimately my worst nightmare. And it's one of those shows where they're, they kind of, they kind of follow the different characters and their their backstories and how they're handling the containment because they put up this um cordon cord cordon cordon what is it called a barrier like around part of the city that has the infection they're containing it <coughs> containment <coughs> i don't 
don't know. It's really good. I cried at that one, too. I don't really cry that much. These just get to me. Unreal. Unreal is such a good show. I completely forgot how much I loved it because I haven't watched it in, in a while. But it's basically about the show. It's very meta. Um, like this, I cannot think of the name of it. But it's supposed to be like a Bachelor style show. But it's all about the behind the scenes. So our main character's name is... She has, like, a little backstory, and you just kind of learn, like, the ins and outs of what goes on behind the scenes. There's drama. There's love. There's hilarity. I don't know. It's it's really good. I really sell in this stuff, aren't I? Um, okay, Killing Eve. All right, I'm almost done. I have two left. <laughs> I think the reason that a lot of these shows aren't talked about as much, like, they're, like, don't get me wrong, all of them are popular, but I feel like they're popular in contained settings. You know what I'm saying? Certain shows, I feel like, cover a lot of people, like The Office. But a show like Killing Eve that's on BBC America, like, not a lot of people go to that channel. Or a show like Younger that's on TV Land or Unreal, I think is on Lifetime. Or it was on Lifetime, it's not on air anymore. Like, those are, you know, kind of contained settings. And they're popular, but they're just not, like, renowned. Does that make sense? And Killing Eve is really funny like that it doesn't advertise itself as like a funny show but okay it's about this <laughs> let me back it up this woman named Eve who's like obsessed with psychopaths and she kind of runs into this psychopath named Villanelle who is like an assassin Villanelle is so funny the actress I cannot think of her name is so talented in this role like it is incredible if you haven't watched it you need to check it out it's really good there's right now there's only hello three seasons I think they just finished season three and the last one I'm excited about this one because I'm watching it right now and whenever I'm watching a show that like is not super popular right now I always go on my snapchat and I say you need to watch this show and guess how many people actually watch it zero zero people watch the shows I recommend are you going to watch any of this stuff? Probably not. But I'm going to share it anyway so I can say I did. So this show was recommended, well it wasn't recommended, it was advertised on Netflix. You know when they have like the banners at the top of the screen. They show like different shows that like are popping, you know. So Slasher was up there and I was like, okay. I like the, um, th did I say I looked like the Druid at the beginning? That okay, the Druid is going to come in right now. There's three seasons, okay. I watched season three first because when I clicked on Netflix, what? When I clicked on Slasher and clicked play, it immediately took me to like the most current season, which is season three. But it's a Canadian show. Now, I have a special place in my heart for Canadian television because Degrassi is one of my favorite shows of all time. And speaking of Degrassi, there are characters from Degrassi and Slasher. But in season, th oh. Oh! <laughs> Every season has a different theme, a different storyline. It's kind of similar to like American Horror Story. So the season three that I watched, which is my favorite, is called Slasher Solstice. And it's about this first murder of this guy named Kit, who was murdered by this person that has like, you know, the whole black get up with the black hood. And I think they have like an LED, um, like face mask on and people call him the Druid. So the show kind of toggles back and forth between, like, Kit's murder and what happened around that day and current time, which is a year later to the day. You kind of follow different characters and their stories and how they're connected to Kit's murder. And the druid just goes right off killing people. Um, if you do not like blood, gut, score, this is so not your show. I've seen quite a few scary movies and horror movies and scary shows and whatever. And... Very rarely am I like, wow, at a murder that just happened. Like, the creativity is, it's there. Anyway, 
those are the shows that I think more people should watch because I have nobody to talk to about these shows except maybe my mom but most likely nobody. If you just need like a fresh recommendation, I like a little bit of everything. You know, like Gossip Girl is one of my favorite shows. Just for Housewives is one of my favorite shows. Black Mirror is one of my favorite shows. Because I'm just quirky like that, okay? If you watch any of these shows, please let me know in the comments below, but probably nobody's watching this right now. If you would like to recommend any shows to me, I love recommendations because half the time I just watch Real Housewives because I don't have anything else to watch. So um, let me know those things. We can chat it up in the comments. <laughs> Remember to wear your retainer. Okay, bye.